My content is intended for adult collectors of the product, not made for kids. Hello everyone! For this video, it is the review of the last episode of Beyblade Burst. It's finally ending. Okay, so we're done after this. This is the finale. Finally, it's all over. Let me know your thoughts on the comments on the Burst series. I might do a retrospective maybe in the coming days as I want it to kind of sit uh, down in my head a bit more. I think overall DB is definitely still the worst season. DB is definitely still the worst season for me. I feel that um, too many lows, not that much highs. And let's talk about the finale. So Belle's goofing around. Rashad does respect Belle. In the anime, it's not very clear why he just has this distaste towards Belle. Or I should just say, it's not really, really, I have to keep saying this because I've read the manga. It's not as good as the manga is. Uh, but uh, Brashad is laughing. The whole idea with this was he's supposed to have more fun or whatever. He connects more to Raphael and, you know, whatever. In terms of how they kind of set up this sort of Belle and Rashad. The manga does it a lot better. I feel there's more themes, more things to look at with the characters, a lot more depth. The anime does not have that depth that it desperately needs. I think even if we had the full episodes, we probably would have never gotten it. We do have a really nice thing though. It's a backstory for Belle. The manga also had this and the anime, it's kind of different for the purpose that they serve for the thing. Also, they just shoved this right at the This would have been like, I will be honest, like, if they didn't want to do what the manga did, this would have been really good for episode one. <laughs> or episode two. I feel like, because obviously, you know, at the end, it's like, what is it? The grandpa's like reflecting or whatever, right? But I feel, right? That was probably the best, this is the best part of the episode. And it's him developing his uh, Demon King persona. So Louie and Free are watching. If you're wondering, what about all the other characters that we've seen in the anime? Do we see them at all? No. So anyways, the battle starts, and the battle itself, so it goes for like the dive move or whatever. You do see some good shots and movements and the CGI. Some parts of the art don't look 100%. The CGI is uh, on point uh, for this episode for sure. The, they're in this kind of weird ice setting, which is fine. And the thing is, it's two levels. It's like the bottom of the floor and the top and the little circle where they drop in. I thought it was kind of like cool or whatever. A, a weird setting that they're in uh, just to see visually, but um, when he's going for the dive, he's like blocking it. Because obviously this was a big weakness with Raphael. And Volt's like cheering on and they're all watching. Then after Raphael gets the halo, and you get that really nice cut in the animation where he's moving his hands up. And then after a really good transition here, I cannot stress this enough, so, so good visually. Like he's going up and then after he's raising it in the aura and Bell's like this is, whoever animated this, fantastic job there. Visually looks really cool. Also, if you are wondering, sneaky little advertisement, the purple L gear campaign, look at that. Belial has this purple aura on it on purpose. A little mini advertisement for the L gear. So Bell goes for the dive. Rashad's like, like the slam and everything looks really good. And also I love the, with the ground animation with the ice breaking up and the smoke, very, very good. Goes up in the air. Then after Belial is also there and you kind of see this thing where Bell's on the bottom floor and Raphael's up cause it what was it up and then after, yeah. Cause it got knocked or whatever. Then it went up and then after Bell's looking at him and Rashad's looking at him. And Volt's like, go! And we see, finally, the peak of when Beyblade gets really cool is when the avatars actually exist. This is like a thing that's been, that I've watched. Like, I love the, it in Metal Fight when like the avatars, uh, creatures, whatever, they actually come out and it, it's such a cool thing to see. And Burst, when they really get to fantasy, like with Iga versus Fi in this case, this is where it gets really good, even if and then all of the battle, I would say it's like at 100%. This is where I gotta say I loved it. Really cool. Raphael pops, dude. Raphael pops out down from, dude. This is like, <laughs> it's like some persona. It's just like some persona final boss ending. 
Raphael, really cool. Goes for the hit, and they're going for was the greatest spear, and then after like, it's so cool. They're both clashing. You see the thing there, and like the avatar and everything in the interaction. Very, very cool. No surprise, Rashad loses. Everyone's cheering. There's no pain. They, they pains, who, who's pain? Who's pain? They got the Doctor Strange spell, and now no one knows who pain is. I thought they would at least have pain there, right? Like, because, you know, they kind of just shoved him in there and then <laughs> he's not there anymore. <laughs> oh, whatever. It ends on a cliffhanger where it's like the final battle of, I say final battle, the last battle where we will never see and Raphael and Belial. So I think in terms of the actual ending itself, like the last episode, I gave it like a good six. I think characters like Ilya could have been done a lot better, especially since it was they made such a big deal. Oh, it's the first female blader, but she never really gets utilized to where we've seen characters in the past written like Ichika or Sasha. So it's just kind of like, well, she's fine, but they could definitely could have done better. Also, a little bit of the dirty tactic of the fact that Magma was only really made to promote Quad Drive and there was never going to be any Takaro release, which makes her inclusion very questionable to begin with, in the sense that, well, did they just put her in the anime just because Hasbro wanted some character to advertise the bay, or did they actually care about, you know, the importance of representation? Uh, but, yeah, that's kind of it. I think uh, Pain was, um, Accurate in the name for that arc. <sighs> I kind of miss Pain because at least they could have shown they just forgot about him. I think it was like okay. I'm gonna probably do a retrospective. I I might do. Let me know in the comments. You want to see me do like a season ranking where I really go in depth? I'm thinking I might do that for the birth seasons. I don't know if I'm gonna include the manga in it too, because that's I have to. I would have to reread the manga, and I don't wanna. That could maybe just be a separate talk, but uh, yeah. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What a send off uh, to burst, huh? You know, at least we got like a cool battle. You know, at least we got that. I'll take it. I'll take it. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. As always, subscribe if you are new here with bell notifications on. We have a pre-order for Divine Belial. You can see it right there, pre-order. Check it out. We have uh, a deal going on with it, so please limited, well, so please limited time only. And yeah, if you're able to check it out, please. It is an optional way to support the channel. And uh, yeah, I can finally get sleep now. Huh? No more episodes means I don't gotta stay up late. I'll keep doing videos and I'll probably do a lot more of a reflection on Burst in general. But thank you for watching. Have an amazing day.